Hey everybody, it's Algol. I'm here unboxing, a couple days late, but nevertheless, still unboxing the Super Special Secret Collector's Edition of Diablo 3 that only Machinima partners get. Uh, kind of a huge big deal, you know, no big deal, but uh, kind of a huge big deal, if you know what I mean. Uh, so as you can tell, it is legitimately a huge box, a real box, legit box. So let's see what it comes with, shall we? Comes with a poster that is pretty much the replica of the box. You know, that's pretty cool. Not not too big of a poster, it's actually a little bigger than this, maybe maybe the same size. But it also comes with the collector's edition of a Diablo Tres or three, if you speak English. Uh, so if you want to see what this looks like, uh, stay tuned, like uh, right now. Hey everybody, we're back. A little bit of a different camera angle, just trying to give you guys a better view. Uh, so. As you might notice, there's no cellophane on here. That's because earlier there was no audio in the recording. So I'm doing it again. So sadly, my shock and awe will not be here, but uh, I'm still enamored by the box nevertheless. So it'll still pretty much be the same idea and actually quicker of video because there's no cellophane. As you can tell, all of these details are embossed actually. They're raised off the surface, which means super high freaking quality. A bunch of things just fell, no big deal. Uh, yes, and there's also spot printing of gloss, so as you can tell, the box is matte finish, which means not glossy, more like regular paper, actually feels like leather, which is really nice, and then Diablo and the logo are gloss printed, which is super cool. And the back is plain. It had a big piece of paper that had all of the wide well, show you, it's right here, because it though. You know, just detailing all the contents of the Clash Edition, which is super cool. Alright. So let's unsheath this bad mama jamma. Oh, freaking cool is the only word to describe this. Super embossed, beautiful, amazing. You don't get cool than that. Okay, so we got that bad boy propped up against the other lid. And the contents are quite awesome. First off, the art book, which I was about to render the video while I was looking through this art book. Uh, so it's actually really awesome. If you like art, being as I'm a graphic designer, my wife's an illustrator, we really enjoyed this. More matte finish with uh, spot gloss printing. Really cool. The art is amazing. There's one picture of Tyrael in here as the stranger where he actually has a hood still which is freaking cool. Sorry if you haven't played the game yet, I might have just spoiled something for you, but I don't care. Because I played for the game almost on Nightmare, so uh, you've had plenty of time. And here is a little treasure box, which is also matte with spot gloss printing. Really cool. Let's see if we can open this bad boy. I'm assuming if you... Let's get some zooming down here, buddy. There we go. So I'm assuming if you are familiar with this collection edition, you might know what this is. If not, this is Diablo's head and his soul stone, which you'll probably know if you are a fan of the series. So let's see if I can get you a good shot of this. I'll have to come over here. Ah, yes, look at that. Diablo's skull. It's actually modeled on all sides, and then it comes with the Soul Stone, which you, as you know, goes into his forehead. Click. And as we found out after my first recording, it's actually magnetically attracted in there. Click. Click. So that's really cool. Um, I suppose you don't get data loss on a USB drive from magnetic charge, even though you kind of think you would, but I guess it has to be plugged in. Uh, for magnets to interfere, but also maybe it doesn't interfere with uh, flash memory. We have the soundtrack to the game with a super cool art on it. It opens up, you know, track lists, etc. Pretty self explanatory. There is a little piece of paper which I happened to notice in my first run through of this bad mamma jamma. Kind of tucked away. The cool thing with the butcher. It opens up track list, you know, your standard fare, but still really cool, just 
they went, you know, kind of above and beyond with this. So we'll put that bad boy right there. We have a ton of guest passes to World of Warcraft, a bunch of Diablo guest passes, the key codes for Diablo 2, and maybe Diablo 1, if not, it's Diablo 2 and the expansion come on the thumb drive, which is really cool. But uh, there's also this World of Warcraft guest pass. If you want a World of Warcraft guest pass, I do not want it. Uh, feel free to be the first person in the world to claim that. I think you can get for free online anyways, but uh, who cares? So that's that right there. And then we have two uh, DVD cases. This is the game DVD, which is just, you know, quite literally the game. A little booklet manual. Is it actually a real manual? Yeah, it's, you know, your standard little booklet manual. PC specs. Nothing like it used to be in the good old days where you didn't want a manual anyways. And then we have the, you know, behind the scenes DVD, which I'll probably watch maybe tonight or sometime at a later date. Two discs. Super cool. Picture of T-Real. Can't complain. Cannot complain. So guys, that is the collector's edition of Diablo 3.